Your 30 seconds starts now. Mrs. Mott's my name, and magic's a game. We hope. Right, now, uh, you've got 30 seconds starting now. Does he love me? I want to know. How can I tell if he loves me so? Is it in his eyes? Now you really see it. Is it in his eyes? Now that's me believe if you want to know. If he loves you so, it's in his kiss. That's where it is. Well, here's one of me number four. You are, is that the right height for yes, you? Yes, okay. Is that, is, that, is that about the right high for you? Uh, that's right. That's Thank right. You. Okay. You're, you're 30 seconds. And I can't wait. The 30 seconds starts now. To commemorate being on telly, I thought I'd write a special poem about coming down from Bolton and being a long way from home. To finally get a box is a pinnacle of my career. I'm about to be famous now. I'll celebrate with a pint of beer. Well, hey, I've been on telly before, you know. I've been on to Antiques Roadshow. I queued up for hours and I says, here, I says, what do you make of that? I says, I found it in my loft. He said, it's worth nothing, it's your water tank. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. That's number five. Huh. Right, is that five for you? Right, right. Behind me. Right. You've got 30 seconds starting now. Right, you've all seen a slick magician on a telly, dicky bow dress suit, black shiny shoes. He gets a cane, what he does, he gets a cane, he makes it completely disappear. I don't do nothing like that, so if you don't, I don't do that. Do you know what's written on this card? No! Correct! Yeah. <laughs> back it, back it, apple, apple, teeth out the pocket. Munchy, 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 in they go, munchy, munchy. Out comes, out comes. I've got it here somewhere, I've got it here. Here it comes, there it comes, there it comes. <laughs> apple, <laughs> not apple, not apple. <laughs> what have we done with six? <laughs> 30 seconds. Now! <laughs> 30 seconds? Oh, I'll go through 30 seconds! Because <laughs> if I start telling a joke, I'll start laughing! <laughs> and I'll get it all wrong! Hello, punters! <laughs> I think we've got a bit of a sticky moment, as I'd say it. Or we'd call it a cock up. <laughs> Special thanks to Colin and the band there because they didn't know what was going to happen, neither did we. But it was fun. Now, what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to try and get two of these wannabes, your choice, and they're going to go in to the rest of the show. I'll just point to each wannabe, starting with one, two, three, etc. And if you like them, shout and cheer because it gets registered on a sound machine upstairs. Although if we can judge it here, we won't bother. Okay, who's going to go on into the show? Will it be wannabe number one? Will it be wannabe number two? Yeah! Okay. Will it be 
want to be number three. Will it be want to be number four? Or want to be number five? Or will it be want to be number six? Not a lot of doubt there. No doubt at all. We thank all the one of us, but it's definitely number two and number six you'll be seeing after the break. <laughs> We're going to be back with more prizes, the wannabe acts, and the pot of gold. Stay tuned. See you after the break. <laughs> Basildon, Essex. Essex. Give a big hand and uh, wish them luck, Spencer and Lee. I'm juggling. You need a lot of guts for this racket. We're supposed to be doing a song and dance. Yeah, and we're supposed to be getting paid. I like this bit. It's a pity they don't. If this comes back, we'll make a fortune. That's a nice hat. It's not your size. Yes, it is. Looks good on me. Anyone got a light? Smoking is bad for your health. What do you mean, smoking's bad for your health? It cures kippers. Oh, what are you doing? No, it's OK. He hasn't been feeling very well. But he's picking up now. I'm picking up now. Go oh, on, take oh. them off. Here we go. Come on. I'll do that. Come on. Lee, I got this stitch just watching that. <laughs> Let's see what our judges think, and we'll start with you, John. Well, if I'd been watching at home, I'd have gone through to the kitchen to make a cup of tea of something stronger, because I find the prospect of knockabout jugglers as entertaining as reruns of El Dorado. However, I will give them ten points, and that's mainly for the snazzy waistcoats, which I did like. Brighter than the act. That's nice to know when you've just bumped your head, isn't it? All right. No, that's what John is there. That's his opinion. That's we, we value that. Right, let's talk to Sue. What do you think, Sue? I thought they were as good looking. But, hey? Uh, Hang on a minute, Sue. They've been working their self <laughs> silly and you think they're good looking? Yeah, that's Little more than that. I didn't like the, like the act at all. But Not at all. But saying that, I think they'd go down well with kiddies. Down with kiddies? So what, do you, what, what, what vote are you going to give? What, 19. What? 19? Well, look on the score there. That is uh, 29 points, lads. Once again, I think the audience love you and I think they liked your tone. 29 Thank points. You well Cheers. done. Cheers. Thank you. Right, that's 29 points for act number five. If you've got 29 points on your card for act number five, you want yourself 50 pounds. You can get that by writing in. Do not ring. Write in. Okay? After the break, we'll be back with more acts, more.